Bye guys. Okay, I wanted to share a couple of tips, tricks, tools that I use. Um, so every year I do something like this. It's a template of the garden. So those are all my beds and then I label like in each one what I'm gonna plant. I do that so that I can look back at last year's and keep track of like, where did I plant my brassicas? Or where did I plant my potatoes? Or where did I plant my peas? So that I'm ensuring that I can rotate my garden beds, which is important because um, it's not like growing in pots where you can just get rid of your soil and start fresh every year. Like if I get a squash bug or something, then I really need to make sure that I'm planting in different soils for the next year. Alternatively, when you plant something like a pea or a bean, you're putting nitrogen back into the soil, which then if you were to grow corn, I don't grow corn, but it's a heavy nitrogen feeder, you would wanna grow the corn um, in a bed that you had grown peas and beans in the year before. So creating a little template like this, I just draw one out on a piece of paper and then I'll photocopy it because let's be real, I go through a bunch of different iterations of it usually. Um, I was gonna show you. Yes. So, <clears throat> this is my seed box. So I keep all my seeds, I just label them. So like, herbs and carrots are in the Ziploc, in the bag. So yeah, here is some blank templates. And then, it's kind of fun in the winter months to like, pull out all your seeds, look at what you've got, start thinking about where you want to put things. Um, so yeah, that's like just fun for me. The other thing that I use that's really helpful is this thing. So I created this and it's basically last frost date in the middle there and first fall frost date. And it's got our dates for like my zone. So like my last frost date is May 5th. And then working backwards, uh, I'm gonna put a template actually online. So if you want, you can probably look this up. It's not there yet though. Um, so what I do is last frost date, okay, two weeks before your last frost date, what could you be planting out? Four weeks before your last frost date, what could you be planting out? Um, even so far as like into January when you're starting like your Brussels sprouts and your peppers indoors. So this is just like a good guide because you could be like, oh, what am I? gonna do today and it's like well for example this morning I was like what is it April 19th April 19th I'm allowed to plant out my potatoes that is two weeks before our last frost date so I was like okay let's chit them let's cut them and get them um, prepared because if you're gonna cut your potatoes so that you have they say two eyes on each potato and that they say if you cut them you get a better yield that it apparently gives you more potatoes, larger potatoes, but you can't just cut them and throw them in the soil. Because if you do that, you're leaving yourself open to um, potato scab. So you cut them and that raw potato edge, just like the potato from your, under your sink or wherever you keep them, if you leave it out, it will seal up, right? It's not like wet and soft anymore. It gets like a harder skin on it and that's what you want. So I cut mine this morning, left them out for, it'll be two days, three days before I get them in the soil. Um, so this is just like a handy reminder. I put this on my fridge and then I can look at it when I'm having my coffee and kind of be like, okay, what are we coming up to? What needs to be done? Um, so yeah, that's kind of my two tips. We'll just leave it at that for today. Make yourself a little outline of your garden because it's fun to play. Um, and it also is really beneficial. So you can look back on last year's and you can even go back, once you've done it for a while, you can go back three or four years, five years, and you know exactly where you put things, and so she can rotate them, and also if something works really well, and you're like, wow, I grew squash, like last year I grew squash up these trellises, like, and they were amazing, and you're like, okay, I, I'm gonna get two more trellises and put squash in this area, or, I don't know, it's just helpful, it's very, very helpful. So, thanks for watching, and I hope you find those tips helpful.